Hey everyone, for this video I've got five of these multiplier two pound scratch cards. See if I can find anything. Right. On this side for the diamond. Change coin. I'm not having much scratch look with that thing. Right, um, looking for the fingers on this side. When I say look, I mean, you know, like the capability of scratching. I scratched the last one then because it, you can't find the little suitcase. Right, so the cord was down and the multiplier was times one. So we've got four chances. Right, come on, find the diamond. Oh, there's one. Two. Nice one. Looking for the fingers. Got the bag on the wrong end. Right on this side. If I get a two on here, they're going to be fours over there. That'll be a ten on them. So that would be nice if it happens. No. I was expecting it, it didn't happen. I've got two of each on there. Right, so what? It is only four pound. But the multiplier could be times five. To take it to 20, that would be nice. Yeah, times one. <laughs> nice little look. Not complaining. So four is better than zero. Nearly halfway there. Good thing about these, even when you think you've only won two, you can hit it big on the multiplier, like two, five, or ten times. What? Zero times on that one. Five times on all. Shame that wasn't on the other chord. Right. Two to go. It's terrible. Right, find a diamond away. Yes, nice one. Good stock. And another one. That's good. That's a couple of diamonds. Very nice. Fingers under here. Oh, got a crown. I think I'm going to take at least four. I've got four on the other card, so that takes up the eight at the minimum. And so what? Two of each on there. Just gonna be two and two. Yep, multiplier, come on. Times one. Oh, basically the same as the last card. Two diamonds for four pound. Yep. But that's good. Good result. Eight back from ten. I'll compare that once again. Thanks for watching.